Yeah. <laughs> what is good, Gray Gang? We're here in Florida. I'm here with Deer Meat for dinner and Mike from Real Cool Adventures. We're going iguana hunting. Now, iguanas, they look like this. If you've watched my channel, you've never seen that before. But uh, I know nothing about iguanas except they look cool in pet stores. So you tell me because you actually know what you're talking well, about. They may look cool in pet stores, but the truth of the matter is they got out of the pet store and into our environment down here. And years ago, Florida was known as like beautiful flowers and happy people. The iguanas, <laughs> commonly known as a bamboo dragon, have eaten everything. They eat the fruit, they eat the flowers, they even eat the pine trees. They're killing everything. And today, we flip the script on them. Usually would all this be flowery and stuff yeah. on the bank? Like typically, that would be covered in flowers. Now, how big we talking? How big these lizards? I don't know, but my daughter Aria has her tape measure and she's gonna measure them for us. Um, some of them can be this big, some of them can be this big. Now, we just had a cold front that literally wiped out a lot of the small ones. Once yeah. it gets to the 30 degrees, it kills them off. Wow. But these big ones have adapted so well here, that you'll see today, you can't take them out unless you have an air rifle. And that's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using air guns. But not your, just your little squirrel air gun. We got a stinking 357 air gun. That's like that big. We'll pull that out here in a minute once we get closer to the spot. We'll show you what we're actually going to be hunting with. Well, your, what are your takes on the day today? What are you thinking? That's about how I'm feeling too. See those purple flowers? Yeah. That's what everything should look like. Except those flowers are poisonous to iguanas. If they eat those, they die. Well, what kind of bird is that? Uh, looks like some kind of crane to me. Not exactly a wildlife expert down here. Kentucky, I know a little bit. In Kentucky, we got squirrels. About it. Do they eat any meat? Iguanas? Yeah, they will eat baby chicks, they, the other iguanas. They're cannibalistic and they will attack the crap out of you. Mm. They hit you with what's called a tail whip. So if a uh, iguana is injured in the bow, like you ever seen a cow whip or a bull, yeah. they'll do that with your tail and they go for your eyes and go for your shins. Really yeah. bad. They're really dinosaurs, aren't they? They are dinosaurs. And they have claws that are oversized claws, which what they use for climbing and protection. There's one. Just chilling on the bank. But that's a small one. There's an Egyptian geese. It looks so weird. Oh, another thing about Florida is basically everything is invasive and you don't even need a license or a season to kill them. You're actually doing them a favor. Yeah. Like I've been down here for a couple days and I'm going to be down here for a week. I'm probably not even going to have to buy a hunting license. It's pretty great. Stuff. I was thinking halo gun. It's like they're everywhere, but at the same time they're not. They're like squirrels that aren't afraid of you, but you also can't see them and they can swim, fly, and run. Oh, you got him. I'm not thinking it's too accurate. I don't think it's sighted in because the laser and the sight is six inches apart. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we changed uh, to a different air gun with iron sights and it's 177 caliber, so a lot smaller. Let's see, we have two hits, pretty much dead on, but maybe a centimeter high. So it'll be perfect. Yeah, that's where I was aiming. Oh, right there at the top? Yeah. Oh, well, it's dead on. All right, before you shoot it, tell us what that is, because I've sure. never seen anything like that. This is like a monster. It's like a halo gun. Benjamin Bulldog 357. 357. How, how heavy are the... 140 grains. And how fast are they moving? Uh, 1,100 feet per second. Did you shoot twice? Yeah. So here's what we got. At this distance, it's shooting about this low. So now we know where to aim. Oh, you got it. <laughs> that thing sounds like a 243 going off. Good shot. Hit it. Yep. Nice. All right, so a few minutes ago, it. Rob actually got this one, and it is gigantic, like five foot. But just now, I just dome piece this one right, right, right in the side of the face. Nice shot. Nice shot. That's a giant. That's a bamboo dragon right there. Nice shot. That thing's 
probably eaten a couple hundred pounds of flowers in his day. All right, guys, we've just piled up this gigantic pile for his channel. We're doing a catch or cook over there. You'll have to go check that out. But now we've got this giant tree that looks like it's slow, should be in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I tell y'all what, I, I mean, this is a fun collaboration, but I've been a fan of, of Kendall for so long. It's just fun watching him do his thing. Oh, there's one right there. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Holy cow. Rain and iguana. Got him. Dude. I don't know what's wrong with them or what, what lab they were created in, but they're built of like, I don't know, <laughs> what, leather? And armor, <laughs> and uh, what's that one stuff that they make bulletproof jackets out of? Kevlar. Kevlar. Yeah. It's a Kevlar iguana. Look at that. Look at that. His tail's gone. What's that mean? They've been fighting. Yeah, fighter. And so basically, our tactic of how we're finding these are getting in a boat, looking up on these trees, and uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, there's a big one right there. Oh yeah, yeah. The sniper assassin. Dude. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, he's right there. Stoned him. Okay, geez. On fire. Oh, he sees another one. He's got the eye of the tiger here. Oh! I see him too. I feel. I you got him. You guys, Kendall Gray is going I mental like on the iguanas. I can't want to come down. We just got done filming the uh, iguana thingy, so now we're gonna do some peacock bass. But the way we're gonna do it is not with artificial, we're gonna catch live bait from start to finish all the way. We're gonna the... catch what's called a bull mud minnow. Yep. I'm gonna move around in the grass, they're gonna chase them out in the white sand, cast at them, put them in the bucket, then we're gonna go catch peacock bass. That's right. And peacock bass are like a normal bass, except a whole lot different. They pull really hard. <laughs> they're from South America, and they're great to eat, and they're even more fun to catch. So the first step to this is find bait. How big are these minnows gonna be? Um, anywhere from two inches to five inches. Oh wow, that's pretty big. Huge. Now for me, I've actually never caught a peacock bass ever. Or even, I don't think I've even seen one. Not in real life, at least. Did you get any? A few? It's called bull mud minnows. A lot of the lures you see that have those square tails, yeah. that's what they're mimicking right there. Oh wow, that's weird. Huge school. Where? Right there, come between the two flats. Oh yeah, I see them. Nice job. Oh yeah, I got them, good. Oh, oh, oh. oh. There we go. Giant school right here. Like a hundred of them. Nice shot. This is a perfect size one. Like two inches. So the rig we got is braid with a leader and a snailed little hook. Weightless. And come in with this guy right on the lips, just like I do with all the ones from Kentucky. There we go. Should be great. We're gonna skip it inside of a buggy. Got some live bait. We're gonna pitch it up here. See if Kendall can't catch his first peacock bass. You got him, Kendall. You got a nice one, Kendall. Here we go. Nice. Oh, there's two hooks in him right now. No way. Mine and someone else's. There's mine. Yeah, here's someone else's. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there he is. Nice. I have no idea what that's a huge Mayan sickle. I call those freshwater snappers. To me, you can't tell a difference in that and a mangrove snapper. No way. That's the biggest Mayan cichlid I've ever seen in my life. Okay, guys, I'm just going to give you a little rundown on our little buddy, the iguana, and why they're possibly one of the craziest animals I've ever seen in my life. First of all, let's check it out. Okay, let's just get the elephant out of the room. The stinking thing's 16 foot long. But then one thing that I didn't know about iguanas, look at their skin. Okay, looks cool, looks cool. Well, let me just tell you, it's stinking bulletproof, okay? I had some up close and personal experience with these things y'all didn't get on camera okay i went hand-to-hand -hand combat i had to pull out the cagey pocket knife and uh, i'll be honest guys i mean it just it didn't stop him then i had to grab him i had to sink and smash his face into a pop and he just he wasn't going out without a fire that same one that i did that to was still trying to bite me two hours later but we took care of him kind of but another crazy thing is look one thing they got the claws they're not too terribly awful one still ended up getting me right there on the arm then they got a whip for a tail but then one of the craziest things and i didn't even know this till today is they have studs 
woods on their neck so that if anything tries to go for their one weak point they're going to get stabbed in the finger or face so you know what i really don't know what these guys' problem is but they're one tough animal do these things have any predators what's that do iguanas have any predators at all yeah for sure besides yeah. humans oh um i think skunk apes <laughs> like to eat them um, Sasquatch has been known to eat them, but other than that, not really. Hmm. So yeah, guys, I've been in Florida for a couple days now. Iguanas, probably one of the strangest animals I've ever saw in my entire life. They really are. But as for us, we're actually about to get into another video. If you're not subscribed to Deer Meat for Dinner, go ahead and do that. I'm going to put the link down in the description, if I can remember it. 